Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. This will be for all signs. I'm going to pull a couple cards for each sign individually just to check in and see what's going on. It's been a while. So starting off with Aries. If you are an Aries sun, moon, or rising, let's see what's going on with you. The Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. We'll just move those up away. And something from the Soul Deck. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. So with this five of wands and the eight of wands in reverse, I'm hearing that you have a lot of things that are just changing right now. And it's meant for you to be laying the foundations for something newer and bigger. So remember, change is not necessarily good or bad. It's just something that's different. And so even though there's some obstacles here along the way, you get to decide whether you're making this a good experience or a bad experience for you. So just keep that in mind. And then your Oracle card just reiterates that. There at the bottom, it literally says laying foundations, just like we saw the men up there laying foundations in the corner of the other card. So just know that you are being divinely guided and you're not having to do any of this alone. So now for Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. You got the five and six of swords both in reverse. And your guidance is divinely guided. So right here, it looks like in the most recent past, you are getting over some conflict, something that happened with some people that you thought were pretty close to you. Well, it's like they were close to you, but not for good reasons, unfortunately, when you thought that you guys were close, like in a positive way. But they showed you otherwise, and so now you're just in this era where you're doing your best to move on from it. You have some times where you think of the fond memories that you guys had, and so that makes it a little bit difficult. But all in all, you understand that this is something that needed to happen. Because you got that your guidance is, or your, yeah, your guidance is divinely guided. That sounded weird altogether. But everything is happening to you for a reason. So whatever the conflict was, the reason that they had to move out of your life, you know it's for your higher purpose. And so you're just learning to be okay with that. Now we have Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. You got the world card and the four of pinnacles in reverse. And trust the niggle. So you have some cycles that are ending right now, some things that kind of lingered over from last year. And it's like you are in the mode where you might not completely be ready to let go. But Spirit is saying that you have to let go of this so that you can receive something bigger. So trust the feeling that you have that maybe this isn't serving you anymore. It's like maybe you don't want to let go because you are used to just seeing whatever this thing or person or place is in your future plans. But you just have to get used to the idea that 
everything's going to be able to change for the better. Most people are, most people don't like change or they don't take change well. So that's totally normal. Now moving on to Libra. If you are a Libra setting or rising. You got the Three of Swords in reverse and the Fool in reverse. And share your voice. So you have finally taken a chance in love and decided to go ahead and be committed to someone. And it looks like it did not turn out the way that you thought it would. This person ended up being just super karmic for you. But Spirit is saying focus on the lessons you learned and not the fact that you were uncomfortable. Because we have to be uncomfortable to grow. So focus more on what you got out of this situation and how it's going to help you be a better person for whoever you date next. And then you got share your voice because there's a lot of people that have been in situations similar to yours that could really just use... Um, not necessarily help, but it, it would just really benefit them or inspire them in some type of way to know that it's not just them because it's like these are things we don't necessarily talk about. There's a lot of embarrassment or shame around what we perceive to be failed relationships instead of them just being lessons. And so it would just really help other people for you to be open about your experience with this one. So now Leo. If you are a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you got the Six of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. And break the chain. So you've been doing a lot of partying definitely last year and this year you're still more out in the public um, it's like you are keeping up with pretty much the same habits that you had before when it comes to the way that you socialize and spirit is trying to sit you down they're saying that you're staying so busy more so as a means to run from some inner work that you really really need to do and some of your more intimate relationships that really need your attention so it will be in your best interest to really reevaluate your priorities at this time is what i'm hearing and really bust through any illusions or any stories that you've been telling yourself that lead to you overcompensating so any areas where you feel like you're not good enough or you wish you could have done better or you wish things went differently before spirit is saying you know to just focus on what you can do moving forward instead because this Break the Chain card is all about healing. And a lot of that healing has to be done in isolation. As you see here, they're going into or coming out of this cave. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Nine of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. And trust your path. So with this Nine of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, I'm seeing that you are very comfortable when it comes to just you being yourself, 
at home doing your own thing or at work really in your own little bubble. But when it comes to your relationships with other people in that area, you're kind of struggling. And so from the outside looking in, this may seem like a red flag or like a not that great thing that you're no longer getting along that great with the people around you. But it's actually a good thing because you're growing out of these people, a lot of whom were toxic and you were only close to because you like grew up together or you're in close proximity. So it's okay that you're outgrowing these people and it's okay that you're doing your own thing and you're alone right now at this time. Whenever you're ready to get back out there and meet people, just know that it's gonna have to look way different and you're gonna be around a lot of different people. And it may feel foreign to you, but Spirit is saying, just trust your path. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now. So now moving on to Virgo, we are halfway through the Zodiac. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The Four of Pentacles in the world in reverse. Somebody else's was just opposite of that. It was the world and then the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I already forgot what sign that was, but probably significant for you. And then you got the great gathering. So here you're being asked to save your energy and your money both because you have something that's going to be coming up that's going to catch you off guard. Some type of big expense. I'm hearing that it's either going to be something related to your car or if you own a home, it's going to be something like I'm hearing your water heater, your water heater or your water pump. So either your house or your car. But that's definitely going to be something that's like not covered by any type of insurance or like the deductible is going to be so big, you may as well just be paying out of pocket. So keep that in mind right now when it comes to your spending. And then you got this about just listening to your intuition because you're going to have a feeling before it breaks down that something's going wrong. Definitely follow it at that time because if you can catch it before it gets too bad, it won't be as expensive to fix. Okay, moving on to Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. So you got the full in reverse and the justice card. So two major arcanas. And this Libra energy is more air. Pisces energy also. Pisces Aries energy. So right now you're being told to put a pause on any type of new projects, new relationships, new habits, anything new that you're wanting to start because the reason that you're wanting to start something new is due to unfairness in the previous way that you were doing things. So instead of having to start over, there's going to be some divine intervention that's going to course correct whatever was happening before. So it's going to be like the least amount of effort for you to just stay where you are. But then you also got what lights you up and this is encouraging you to really just think about the situation a little bit different. So instead of thinking like maybe you didn't get what you want, just being grateful that you're getting exactly what you need at this point in time. Sagittarius, sun, moon and rising. Also two major arcanas. We got the devil and the empress. The first thing that stands out to me is all the dark blue and purples in the background. Very nighttime. 
giving nighty vibes creating heaven on earth so this is actually asking you to get into your shadow side and spirit is highlighting the owl there too so this is asking you to dig into what's really driving your behavior it's time for you to evolve into the next level of like maturity the next stage of your life but you have to understand how you got to where you currently are in order to get to where you need to be more efficiently is pretty much what's going on so spend a lot more time with yourself and then I'm hearing that you really prefer to keep your head in the clouds, if at all possible. A lot of daydreaming, or if you have any vices, a lot of just diving into those so that you can be in an altered mindset. But Spirit is saying it's definitely best for you to stay grounded as you go through this experience. I just chipped the nail. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. The moon and the will of fortune in reverse. I'm hearing checks and balances. So yeah, checks and balances. I'm hearing to double check things if you're in any type of partnership where the work is divvied up equally. The other person is not doing their job or they're doing something that's going to put whatever you guys are sharing at jeopardy. So Spirit is saying this is not the time to be so trusting, but definitely to actually check up on things because something is not what you seem. But as far as yourself and what should you be doing at this time, you're already doing it. There's nothing that you necessarily need to change except for checking up on what this other person is doing. That's coming through like as a strong warning for you. All right, Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit in reverse. And warrior woman just fell out. So this is saying that you've been in hiding long enough. It's like you had some great idea. You moved in silence. Didn't want to tell anybody about it, which is awesome. It protected the energy surrounding it so that you could work on it. But now it's time to go ahead and put it out. Spirit is saying don't wait until it's perfect. It's like you're getting to the point where you're obsessing over it. And that is all or not all, but that is being counterproductive. So you've been doing a great job and now it's time to go ahead and put out whatever it is that you've been working on. And Spirit is saying that this is definitely connected to your calling. So after you do put it out, everything is gonna start moving really fast. And last but not least, Aquarius. You got the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. Okay, let's get an Oracle for you. Nothing was popping out yet. Okay. Oh, the Crumbling. This is a good crumbling though. So I see that you've also been hiding out lately, but that's definitely okay. This is saying you do have a loving, caring community waiting there for you when you are ready to come out of hiding. But it looks like you're more so being in a cocoon rather than in hiding really, and you're about to come out completely renewed. So take as long as you need. 
So that is what I have for you guys. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I am taking a little bit of a break right now, so I'm not posting daily at this time, but when I do have a message for you guys, I will absolutely post it up. And as soon as I am back to posting daily or whatever the new frequency will be, I will absolutely let you know. If something super resonated and you would like more information, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You will find the link for that in the description. All right, y'all. Peace.